Hi guys, Daniel here from Tinker, and this is another Tinker Teacher Tip. So today, I wanted to show you how digital citizenship shows up in coding. And so one of the things we do as teachers, we try to make sure that kids cite their work whenever we can, especially if they're doing a paper or if they're doing some research. Uh, and the same goes in coding. We want to make sure that if anybody uses a code bit from another project, that they cite that. So how do they do that exactly? Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, and this is my demo account. I'm going to go ahead and go to the Explore tab, and I'm doing two things right now. One thing I'm doing is I'm going to, I'm creating a project. So I'm going to create a blank project. And if you notice, uh, if you're ever looking in the project gallery and you find something that you like, you can use that and you can remix uh, any of these projects. So in this case, I'm going to take a look at googly eyes. Now this has some code that I might want to use in my project. So I'm going to go ahead and first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to hit stop there, I'm going to copy Ella's username because I'm going to give her some credit in my project that I'm using. And for right now, I'm going to go ahead and click the I'm going to go ahead and click the remix button. So here is her project basically, but now it's saved for me. It's saved under my name. And I'm going to take a look at this code for the right eye because I think this is the code that I want to use in my future project. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my backpack. You can see I have that in my backpack, and now I'm going to go back here to my new. Uh, project and I'm going to give this a name. I'm just going to call it test for now. And now I'm going to go find that code. All right, so let's say I wanted to make my Cody guy here do exactly what the I was doing. I'm going to go ahead and go to my backpack and drag that code to Cody right there. All right, now here's the deal is I didn't technically code to this part, right? I can, uh, I can use this, but I want to give our Ella a little credit. So I'm going to go ahead and go to a comment. I'm going to add a comment block. All right. So I'm going to add this. And what this will do is it'll give me an opportunity to give Ella credit for the code that she created in her project. And it will be in my code. So. Credit to L09 for this code. All right, so I can hit play and it's still gonna work. If you click the JavaScript button, you'll see that in the code, although it's a little hard to see, credit to Ella is still there. And that is how it's done, all right? That is how you give credit to another coder for the code that's in your project. So, that's your Tinker Teacher tip for this week. Give credit to other coders. Put it in your code and add a comment block. All right? Have fun.